kids? Have you ever seen a volcano erupt? It's like a giant fire fountain shooting into the sky. But why does it happen? Is the earth throwing a tantrum? Does it have a secret lava factory? Nope. Volcanoes erupt because of heat, pressure, and fizzy gases deep underground. Today, we'll follow Magma Mike, a tiny drop of magma, on his hot, fiery adventure from the center of the earth to a volcanic eruption. Way, way deep underground, where it's super duper hot, rocks melt into a glowing gooey liquid called magma. This magma collects in a huge underground pool called a magma chamber. But it's not just sitting there, it's full of bubbly, fizzy gases that want to escape. It's like a giant soda bottle being shaken up. As more magma rises, it pushes and pushes. The pressure builds up so much that it forces open cracks in the Earth's surface. And when it can't hold anymore, boom! The volcano erupts, shooting out lava, ash, and hot gases into the sky. It's like a giant Earth sneeze. Once the volcano erupts, hot lava flows down the sides like molten syrup. But that's not all. Huge ash clouds rise into the sky, sometimes even blocking the sun. The lava might look like hot orange syrup, but it's over 1 300 degree Fahrenheit, which is 700 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than an oven. Stay far away, kids. After an eruption, the lava cools and hardens into new land. Some of the biggest islands in the world, like Hawaii, were made this way. Over time, plants and animals return, and the volcano rests, until the next big eruption. Did you know, the biggest volcano in our solar system isn't on Earth, it's on Mars. Olympus Mons is three times taller than Mount Everest. And guess what? Volcanoes help make Earth's land bigger. Without them, we wouldn't have places like Hawaii, Iceland, and even parts of the ocean floor. So next time you see a volcano, remember, it's Earth's way of making new land.